Hi everyone, it's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. It's free and it'll help me out a lot. So hit that subscribe button. Today we're going to be making a resin flower coaster. So let's jump in and get started. In this cup here, I have just, I would say like half of an ounce of clear resin and I'm adding some angel white epoxy paste. And when I do the angel white, what I do is I take my stir stick, stir up the product inside the container and then scrape the excess off. And I only use the tiny bit that's left over on my stir stick. And that's it for the white. I don't use much pigment at all for the white. For this one, it's aqua gold. It's a super beautiful epoxy paste by Lorez. I got it from Laura's Art Corner. Same thing, this cup has just about a half ounce of resin, but I did add more of this to um, this cup. I added about a pea size amount. And really quickly, I wanted to show you guys how I've been warming up my resin. This is the Total Boat Tabletop Epoxy. That's the resin I'm using in today's video. What I did was just got two condiment bottles, labeled them, and then put them in this little crock pot on high for about 15 minutes before I pour and that warms up the resin and it's going to reduce your bubbles dramatically. You're not going to have hardly any bubbles when you mix up your resin. So I recommend doing that, um, especially now since it's getting colder. You can get the little crock pot off Amazon for like 12 bucks. I'll link it down below. It really, really works well to heat up your resin. Um, if you have a round bottom on your part a you could even just put the whole jug of your part a in there but the total boat tabletop epoxy the jug is like a rectangular size so it didn't fit in this little crock pot so i had to put it in the little condiment containers just make sure you label them and don't get um you know either one mixed up make sure you make sure that you're putting part b in the part b container and part a in the part a container so I went ahead and filled up my mold off camera. I have this mold about halfway full with clear resin. I'm using the Total Boat Tabletop Epoxy. I went in with that aqua gold just around the perimeter of the mold and did a little few swirls towards the center as well. And then I went in and did a cinnamon roll swirl of my angel white. And now I'm going to go in and draw my flower petals. I didn't wait at all to go in and draw my flower petals on these. Um, when you heat up your resin, it is going to make it uh, set up a little bit faster. So just keep that in mind. You have to work a little bit more quickly when you're heating up your resin like this. So I didn't wait to draw my petals. My resin was already nice and thick. So I just went in and did my flower petals right after I poured. And that's it. I'm going to take my little gloved hand, go around the rim of the mold to clean up any little resin that may have went out, let it dry overnight, and here we are ready to demold it. I was so excited to see how the Total Boat Tabletop Epoxy worked with this technique because I had never tried it before and it worked out really well. I just love the shape of this flower and the aqua gold is such a pretty color. Um, I got the gold, the aqua gold, the angel white, and the bright gold crushed glass bits that I used in the center, all from Laura's Art Corner. I'll link them down below along with my coupon code if you guys want to check them out. But I just wanted to upload this video really quickly to show you guys a good way to warm up your resin now that it's getting really cold out. And also how well the Total Boat Tabletop Epoxy works for the flower coasters. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already and go check out a few more of my other videos that would really help me out a lot. I hope you guys are all doing fantastic and I will see you soon for another video. Bye guys.